Hi, here we are reading The Puppy Place, where every puppy finds a home. Uh, this one here is about Scout. We are on chapter 7. During recess the next day, Lizzie and Maria made posters for a bake sale. At lunchtime, they went around sticking them up. By the end of the day, every kid in school knew that Mrs. Abeson's class had a new mas mascot. Lizzie was putting up a poster near the nurse's office when Daphne's class passed on their way to the library. Copy cats, Daphne said. You got that idea from my uncle. Lizzie just shrugged. So what if Daphne thinks we copied, she asked Maria later that afternoon. They were in the kitchen at Lizzie's house getting ready to bake chocolate chip cookies for the bake sale. Lizzie rummaged around in a cabinet and pulled out a bag of flour and a box of sugar. Last year, her mom had taught Charles and Lizzie her secret cookie recipe, and Lizzie had permission to bake all by herself. Charles was allowed to mix dough, but when he was still too young to turn over the oven, Mom wasn't around. Who cares what Aunt Daphne Drake thinks? I sure don't, Scout, said Maria, laughing as she pulled the puppy out of the cabinet where the cookie sheets were stored. She's so curious. She just wants to learn about everything. Scout wiggled in Maria's arms. She was curious, of course she was. It was a big world and she was a little puppy, but that wasn't going to keep her from exploring. Meanwhile, Buddy was chasing a crumpled up piece of paper around the kitchen. He would bat it away and then run after it, tumble over his own paws. Finally, he grabbed a piece of paper in his mouth and shook it so hard that he fell over. He rolled onto his back and chewed his, his, on his prize until Lizzie took it away and threw it in the trash can. No eating paper, Buddy, Lizzie said patiently. These days, Buddy seemed to want to taste everything he came across. Maybe it was because he had lost some baby teeth and his adult teeth were coming in. Buddy looked up at Lizzie. He knew she wasn't really mad at him, but he also knew she wasn't going to give him back the paper. He scrambled to his feet and ran off to find something else to chew on. Okay, I think we have all the ingredients. Let's check the recipe to make sure. Lizzie looked over things they had laid out on the kitchen counter. Flour, sugar, eggs, butter, vanilla extract, chocolate chips, cookie sheets, and a mixing bowl, measuring cups and spoons. Where's the recipe, Maria asked. Lizzie looked around for the handwritten sheet her mother had left out. It was nowhere to be seen. Then she remembered the paper Buddy had been playing with. Buddy, she said, was that our recipe? Buddy looked up at her with a guilty expression on his face, his tail wagging uncertainly. He plopped down on his pudgy behind and held up one paw. Lizzie sounded mad. Had he done something wrong? She went back to the trash and pulled out the crumpled, chewed-up piece of paper. She smoothed it. Sure enough, it was the cookie recipe. You're silly, Lizzie shook her finger at Buddy. But she was laughing. Baking cookies was fun. Baking cookies with two puppies in the house was even more fun. Yay, Buddy knew everything was okay now. Lizzie was laughing again. Lizzie read over the recipe. I think the only thing we forgot is the baking soda. She went over to the cabinet to find some. Scout jumped up to the flour, follow her, making powder. No, that's not it. Lizzie muttered as she checked the labels. Here it is. She pulled out a small yellow box. Maria had been checking the recipe. What about extra butter for greasing the pan, she asked. Buddy was busy with something under the table, but now his head was up. He had heard his name. I said butter, Maria said, laughing. Not Buddy. Buddy went back to whatever it was he was playing with. Lizzie got some more butter out of the fridge, and the girls began to measure the ingredients. Okay, the last thing we add is the chips. Lizzie shook, her, shook it out her arm. Stirring the stiff batter was hard work. Where are they? She looked over the counter, and there was now a big mess. Used measuring cups, dabs of butter, spilled flour and sugar were all in a jumble. Maria looked, too. I don't see them. Then, just then, Scout began to bark. She ran under the table and pulled something away from Buddy. It was a big bag of chocolate chips. Oh, no, Lizzie said. Chocolate can make dogs really, really sick. She reached down and gently took a package out of Scout's mouth. Whew, Lizzie said after she had taken a good look. He didn't even get it open. It's just a little so slobbered on. Maria gave Scout a big hug. You're really a search and rescue dog. You found the chips and stopped Buddy from eating them. Scout knew he had done something very, very good. She licked Maria's face all over, paying special attention to the spots that were smeared with cookie batter. Then, when finished baking the cookies, Lizzie and Maria went upstairs. While Lizzie checked her email, Lizzie lounged on, Maria lounged on Lizzie's bed. Both puppies sprawled across her lap. Scout was gnawing gently on Buddy's ear while Buddy tried to eat the belt loops on Maria's jeans. I can't wait to give Casey her flotation vest, Maria said. 
Well, you're going, you're going to have to, Lizzie was suddenly serious. Check out this email. Meg just sent our class. To Mrs. Abeson's class, from Casey. Subject, off on adventure. Dear class, just want to let you know that Meg and I are off to Mexico. There was a big earthquake there, and we are going to help find people who might have gotten hurt or lost. I can't wait to get to work. I'll keep you posted on all our adventures. Keep up with the good work. Scouts training. And with scouts training. Love and Arfs, Casey. Well, that's exciting. Okay, that's all done for Chapter 7. Remember, we miss you here, and keep on reading. It won't hurt you. Bye-bye.